Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. You know the timing is fluid, right? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Oh, we have two. Wow, misunderstanding. So we have a misunderstanding here. That's on the table, so there's a misunderstanding that could cause a little bit of tension, maybe a lot. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So somebody may be putting a wall around them. There could be some sort of bubble of protection. Um, there's angel protection here. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. There is an angel. There is an angel here, and you're going to be shown the way. There is a misunderstanding, but there's divine guidance, okay? What do we have for a message today? Hi Priestess, listen to your intuition. Okay, really listen to your intuition. Take a time out to observe, reflect, listen, Okay, quiet. Okay, it's interesting. The uh, quote, I changed the quote this morning. The quote at the front of the video in the intro. This is about being quiet. Okay, this is quiet observation. It's quiet reflection and listening to your intuition. Okay. So you need to take a time out to just listen. The answers that you seek are within you. They are within you. The chariot and the five of cups reversed. So this is moving forward. These are both moving forward cards, okay? This is going somewhere, traveling in a new direction after a period of loss, grief, mourning. So moving forward. So this is good. This is really good. So we have somebody here that is finding their discipline It's self-discipline and determination to leave something behind that has probably caused them quite a bit of grief, sadness, maybe even regrets. But this is like, this is going somewhere. This is leaving the past hurts behind and refocusing. So we definitely have a refocusing here. Headed towards victory, right? Taking charge. Moving forward, moving forward. So this is moving forward. Just listen, listen to your intuition. Six of Pentacles reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse is not receiving. Somebody's not receiving. They're not getting what they deserve. There may be a lack of reciprocation. There could be a one sidedness. This could be greed, um, theft.
somebody's not receiving. They're not receiving. And there's observance going on. There's somebody here that is whose intuition is speaking to them. And this is about not giving either. Not giving, not receiving. This could be an abuse of generosity, an abuse of power, the Six of Pentacles reversed. Somebody's not getting the recognition or they're not being recognized or something like that. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords upright, she's very sharp to the point, tells it like it is, right? She can be witty, she's very intellectual, she can be smart ass, sarcastic, um, she has pure intentions, she has information, she delivers it quite matter of fact, okay? She may be in a position of power, she may be giving somebody some sort of information or news or orders even she could even be in management you know she's typically in a professional position she's a very very good communicator um she has the power she has the truth she's she's maybe questioning something as well she may be questioning you know the pay because it's it's pointed at the six of pentacles reversed she may be questioning somebody's value questioning somebody's work questioning somebody's motives um we do have somebody here that's very very intuitive very smart very wise also logical really looking at something from a new perspective deep observance is going on so there is this is deep okay there's deep observance over what is deserved what is what is needed as well questioning the facts questioning the truth that's what's happening here Page of Wands reversed. Page of Wands reversed is somebody that doesn't have good intentions. This is somebody that doesn't follow through with things, that likes to play. This person may be lazy, you know, um, may have a self-image problem, demands attention. This can be like a tattletale as well. Somebody that um, doesn't really have any get up and go but demands attention do you know what i'm saying this could even be a child somebody's not getting what they deserve we may have somebody here that's doing something to receive attention but they're not doing it in the right manner it's, this could be negative attention um not putting in much effort easily distracted i feel like we have somebody here that's very easily distracted and the queen of swords she's very observant next to the high priestess yeah three of swords reversed three of swords reversed is typically leaving the past hurts behind again this is like a healing energy um there's pain there's suffering things could be getting better Hmm. Typically, the Page of Wands reverse is bad news, especially right next to the Six of Pentacles. Somebody could be losing a job or losing a position or not getting the raise or not getting what they thought they were going to get. And it may be because of an attitude. There could be an attitude adjustment that is needed. Somebody's attitude is definitely being observed. Um... And we have a healing energy here, though, with the Three of Swords making a decision to, that will make things better. I feel, I feel like we have somebody here that is hurt and they may be acting from their pain or they're, well, they're not giving anything. But they're, it's almost like begging for attention. It's very interesting.
there's something about forgiveness. There's a need for forgiveness. There's a need, there is, there's a, but we have somebody here that may be struggling to forgive. That page of wands reversed is connected to the three of swords reversed. Maybe somebody's trying to prove something. Hmm. There is a misunderstanding. It may have something to do with a child. It may have something to do with a boss as well. Um, or a mother. Death reversed. Death reversed is something that's not over. Okay. This is resistant. It's, it's resistant to change. It's not changing. Will not change. Will not accept. Will not let go. Will not release. Um... Yeah, somebody's holding on to something. It's time to go in a new direction, but that's interesting. There is a misunderstanding here. There's a misunderstanding. There's spiritual guidance. There's protection from harm. There's somebody, somebody could be gossiping as well, you know, talking behind somebody's back. They're not receiving attention. Somebody's not getting the attention that they're seeking. I feel like there's going to be a conversation and I feel like it's, it, there's observance, there's review that is going on. We have somebody here that likes to, I don't know if this is a troublemaker or somebody that has a self-image problem that is always tattling, always telling. You know, nobody likes a tattletale um, or somebody that's always, you know, talking and not doing what they need to do, doesn't follow through with anything. Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is some sort of mental prison, mental turmoil. We have somebody here that is in a situation that, you know, they've put themselves in. They're in this situation. They're staying put in this situation because it feels familiar or comfortable, but deep down inside, it's not. And there's a means of escape, but somebody's choosing not to escape. There's some sort of mental turmoil here. Somebody's holding on to something. Again, with death card reverse, that is holding on, will not release. Somebody needs to let go of something. It's causing stress. It's causing turmoil. It's causing a lot of inner mental conflict. This is somebody, and I wonder if somebody's being boastful or they're showing off, you know, because they're hurt, you know what I mean? And they're holding on. It's like holding on to a grudge or holding on Somebody's holding on to something. There's deep observance of the whole situation. Hmm. I know that there's nothing to give. I know that there's no receiving anything from this person. This person is causing a lot of mental conflict, a lot of mental turmoil. Um, there's a need to take the mask off and break free, but with the death card reverse and the eight of swords, the struggle is real to break free from the mentality of I have to uh, prove myself, something about proving oneself. I wonder if somebody's mental state is being reviewed as well you know, their competence. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles has to do with long-term security, long-term stability, long-term success. That is underneath the Queen of Swords. So this is living a very comfortable life, having plenty, nothing to worry about. It is abundance. It's prosperity. Making a decision about maybe the home or the family or the business. A decision is definitely being made. It has to do with the long-term future. Three of Swords reversed is right in the middle. So healing is happening. It is healing some sort of situation that 
has been maybe stagnant is going to happen. There's going to be a conversation. Now, this may be with the family. It may be with the uh, business, the people. and Because Ten of Pentacles can be family relations. It can be business relations. Somebody's not getting what they deserve. They're not, they're not receiving. And there's been an abuse, maybe an abuse of generosity or, or an abuse of power. We have somebody here that is acting like a child that is very boastful, that is um, lazy but boastful. You know what I'm saying? Um, hmm. It's almost like will not listen. I, I, I heard a know-it-all. I don't know if we have a know-it-all here. Somebody that knows it all. It's like they know it all. They will not listen. They will not compromise because of their mindset. There's a mindset here. There's a need to accept change. There's a need to... Uh, well, you have to give to receive as well. There's a reevaluation going on as far as I'm concerned right now. Fool reverse freedom. This is about freedom. There's something about freedom. Somebody could be freed from their obligations because they're not doing a good job or they're causing trouble. They may be tattling because I keep on hearing tattle, 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 tattle. Nobody likes a tattletale. You, you should be able to work it out. Communicate. Communication is key. The Queen of Swords, she's is all about communication. She's all about the truth. She's all about the facts, right? But there's lies here with the seven, with the Eight of Swords. Okay, there is lies. And there's self-imposed restrictions. Somebody could be, you know, lying to themselves about a situation. There is some sort of deep observing, deep knowing. This has to do with long-term security. It has to do with the establishment, either the family, the home, or the business, the money. Anyhow, the fool reverse. This is foolish. Um, missing an opportunity. Making a poor judgment call. It's mirroring the Page of Wands reversed. So we have somebody here that it may be acting like a child. They may be being foolish. They may be making a poor judgment call. They may be even doing something spontaneous without thinking. Because, and they're headed for a fall. I feel like we do have somebody here that is headed for a fall. They're not going to get what they think that they're going to get. It's like they're, it's almost like they're being very naive. They're being foolish. It's like... Somebody's being foolish. It's like they're trying to receive some sort of attention or they're trying to receive something. It's not, it's not logical. It's not logical at all. Seven of Wands. So this is stiff competition. It's fighting. It's wanting a position. It's maintaining a position. So we do have somebody here that is foolishly fighting for something. Okay. There, and it's like it's like a child that is up against a parent, you know, or it's like an employee that is up against the boss, you know what I mean? That just doesn't have the skills or the knowledge that they need, but thinks that they do. We have somebody here that is standing their ground. It's like, I am going to fight. I'm, I'm going to fight. This is a poor judgment call. Somebody could get themselves in trouble, honestly. By, somebody could even be trying to pick a fight. Um, foolish. Naive. We have a fall from position here. We definitely have a fall from position. This is somebody that was in a position. It's like they're going to be caught off guard. And there's a need for you. Somebody may need to protect themselves. They may need to defend themselves. Because we have somebody here that is acting foolishly. 
because they can't see. They're wearing a mask. They're refusing to see anybody else's perspective. And there's a need to look at things from a new perspective. And this foolish person may be doing something, you know, to hurt another person because they want the position or they want some sort of title or something like that. It's, it's unfortunate. We do have somebody here that, I don't know if they're saying something, they're doing something. And somebody could be coming to their defense, some of the other person's defense as well. There's a need to protect your assets, protect your home, be logical, okay? Really review, okay? Really review your security, review your stability at this time. Um, don't make any foolish purchases or foolish moves at this time because there could be consequences for that. It could end in disaster. Oh, my stomach, I do apologize. There could be a termination here. Um, we have somebody here that has nothing good to say, you know, gossips, 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 you know, um, there's an opportunity to heal, but there's also a need to be honest and be open-minded, but we have somebody here that's refusing to be open-minded because it feels like they're resistant to change. We have an individual that's not being, uh, recognized. Maybe they've been rejected and they're doing something to gain attention. That's what we have here. There's a misunderstanding. It may have to do with money. It may have to do with the home or the business or the family, which is causing some sort of fight. Um, what is this death card reverse holding on to this position is getting old. I feel like there is a loss. I feel like there is a loss because I feel like we have somebody who's going to do something spontaneous. It's like with blindly, it's not, not seeing that it's going to cause a, a release of some sort. Hmm. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, I wanted to clarify that death card reversed. The Queen of Cups, she's very kind, uh, generous, compassionate, caring, loving. Um, she's very intuitive. She sees something as well. She sees that something um, is happening. The death card is right next to it. But holding on is getting old. It really is. This is over. But we have somebody here that is holding on or staying put in the position. But I feel like we have a realization. And it's definitely something about intuition. Somebody's intuition is really telling them that it that they have to break free from this situation and go in a new direction but they're they've been reluctant to make this change because of fear fear of i don't know losing the money losing the security losing the stability a lot of times people do stay married or they stay in commitments or they stay in the jobs most often it is for the money or it's because of the home or whatever it is or the security that it provided. But somebody's really not getting the love that they deserve and it hurts really bad. feels like it's extremely painful. I do feel like we have a fall from grace here as well and I don't know who that's for. I feel like we have somebody here that has been trapped in a situation that isn't nourishing them. It's like it's not giving them the emotional fulfillment that they're, they've been seeking. But the resistance is so strong. The resistance to acknowledge the truth and listen to the intuition. This is about logic and intuition. It's about, yeah, you got to be logical and you got to listen to your intuition as well. So anyhow, I do feel like we do have breaking free. I think it's imminent. 
But right now we have deep introspection and deep review going on. I also feel like somebody's intentions are being reviewed. You know, their, their intentions. And I feel like there could be somebody here that has ill intentions and that's being seen. Um... Holding on to a situation that is highly competitive. And it's like on the edge. It's like it's so it's so close to falling apart. And it's like trying to hold on to it. Maybe it's because of embarrassment. A lot of times people will hold on to things because they signed up for it. It's like, and it's embarrassing. You know, they, it's pride that's in the way. It's like, I can't let everybody know that I made a mistake. A decision is being made no matter what. It has to do with long-term security and it has to do with abundance. And this decision, um, see somebody's going to be caught off guard by the decision that is made. Put it that way. Um, there could be an upcoming rejection. There could be a layoff. There could be a loss of a job. We may have somebody here that is causing problems. This person is quite boastful as well. Um, doesn't really do what they need to do, but may look good, you know, make it look good. Um... There is going to be a conversation. There is going to be... There's a need to stop fighting. There's a need to communicate. There's a need to open up. There's a need to uh, be honest with yourself as well. So I think in the next couple of days, there is probably a misunderstanding that causes a lot of inner conflict it, there's a need to dig deep and I gotta say look at yourself what are you resisting are you being pompous are you being a tattletale are you unwilling to communicate Anyhow, somebody could be losing a position because of, I've got to say, arrogance. I also feel like something could be coming back around that you thought was over. We may have somebody here that is trying to protect somebody, you know, I don't know, maybe it's slander, maybe it's malice. There's a need to master emotions. Maybe it's time to remove yourself from a situation that is draining you. Anyhow, there's deep observation going on and it's time to heal. It's time to break free. It's time to reevaluate your life. Good luck.